All right, hello everybody and welcome back to The Sims 4 with Chauncey Del Mango and um, I forgot the pet's names, Loki and, and Gilbert. So we're gonna pick right back up where we left off and apparently the pet beds mean nothing in this game because Gilbert and Loki like to sleep awkwardly on a hard ass wood floor. So we're still waiting for Chauncey to wake up. I'm just trying to recollect my thoughts and my gatherings since it's been a while since I've played this game and I forgot that I've got these two little shits that I've gotta constantly watch now to make sure they don't chew up everything and shit everywhere. All right, Chauncey, it's time to get up, time to get up. We got work to go to today. Hopefully grandpa, uncle, whoever the hell this is, grandpa, can watch Loki and uh and Gilbert here because we get your ass up. You gotta eat. Your your plum bob is sunburnt orange. All right, so we are gonna send Chauncey into the kitchen to have a nice bowl of oatmeal before we go to work today. And then when we get back from work later on this afternoon, we are going to spend some quality time with Loki and Gilbert at the dog park. So hopefully Gilbert doesn't do raccoon shit and get into crap. And you know them raccoons, they be getting any shit out of garbage cans, they be eating all the garbage. And they are still knocked the fuck out. Alright, so we've arrived at the police station, and Chauncey's not gonna tell anybody, but he's gonna go up here and he's gonna eat, because he needs to. So, Chauncey, let's eat, uh, let's eat a, a BLT. Let's not worry about, uh, Chief. He's not gonna, he's not gonna see us going up here to the stack machine first thing in the morning. He's too busy, uh, on his computer doing a bunch of dumb shit. At least he's working, unlike Bernice, who... Okay, well, wait, she actually is working. Well, oh, fuck. Don't worry, citizens of whatever city we guard. Chauncey is on the case to feed his stomach. Chauncey, little BLT, you just go, yeah, take a bite of that BLT, boy. You're thinking about them burgers and fries, though, but you got that BLT. Oh, my gosh. See, this is why I cannot let Chauncey oversleep again, because not only when he gets to work, he has to eat. Now he's got to piss. Will you just feed the damn BLT so we can go take a piss? Jesus Christ, we've already been eating on the clock for like an hour now. All right, so not only did we eat on the clock, now we are taking a shit on the clock, and Chauncey is good to go, though. So now we are ready for work two hours after we've clocked in. So I've completely forgot- oh, okay. Uh, shit, I forgot what case we were working on. Uh, we're gonna have Chauncey cross-reference the police database with some clues or witness reports that he got for the crime that I have completely forgotten what we're even, uh, researching. I- I, I don't remember. Probably something stupid like, oh, my llama pants have a stain on them. God forbid it be something actual serious. All right, Chauncey found a clue from cross-referencing the police database, so add that clue to the board, Chauncey. So apparently our suspect has no face, and I, I, I don't know, takes pictures of kids. That's great. The suspect is gloomy. All right, uh, we have an APB available. Let's do it. Why not? I don't know what crime we're trying to solve, but we're going to issue an all-points bulletin to find the suspect. All points bulletin. A suspect fitting the APB description has been spotted in this area. All right. Well, since I don't know, all I know right now is that the suspect is gloomy. Let's, uh, oh God, chicken tenders. All right, let's, uh, look at our handy notebook here. So our suspect is female. Our suspect has gray hair. Our suspect wearing a tank top, which if she has gray hair, she probably shouldn't be because shit's falling out of the sides. And she is gloomy. All right, Chauncey, let's take a look around. So far, we have got gray hair, look suspicious, tank top, and she looks gloomy. Let's do this, Chauncey. Let's do a cheerful introduction. Let's find out a little bit more about her. This looks like Bernice's sister, so I definitely want to nab this bitch. Oh, look at this, Chauncey going undercover. He is slick with it. He doesn't want her to know that he is a cop on the prowl for her. So let's, uh... Uh, let's see if we can find out if she's gloomy. Um, friendly... I don't know. Just, uh, deep conversation. If I can't find out she's gloomy from that, then I suck. Chauncey is still questioning the suspect. She has no idea that we are on her trail. And I'm trying to find out if she's gloomy first. But, I don't think Chauncey is gonna be able to figure all this out just by talking to her. So, we're gonna go ahead and ask her about the suspect. Alright, ma'am. Just letting you know, I am a police officer. I'm working undercover. I'm looking for a woman with gray hair and a tank top. I'm sorry, but I, yeah, you sure can't help me. You can help me by putting your fucking hands behind your back. Oh, Chauncey making the arrest. Look at that. Savage. Sometimes I like to play with my fiddle. Where the hell is the suspect at? Where the hell is she? What the hell did you lose her, Chauncey? What the fuck? Okay, she's in the cell. She's in the cell. We're good. We're good. All right, so let's interrogate the suspect here. Um, interrogate. She has yet to confess to her crime of uh, whatever it is that she did. 
and we are going to get it out of her. If it takes everything we've got. All right, you slippery, slimy suspect. Let's, um, let's go and ask some questions. What do I do? Why are we standing here? Quit crying. There's no room for crying in jail. Get your ass in that room. Chauncey's taking the tough guy approach. He doesn't give a damn right now. Oh, shit. Uh, get, there we go. Now, now we got you. Now we got you cornered here. All right, ma'am. Listen to me. Um. <laughs> dangle handcuffs. Yeah, yeah, you don't like those, do you? Do you? Uh-huh. Yeah. Maybe you should start talking. All right, so we got a little bit of progress with that. Uh, let's present some evidence to her here. Uh, review case file. Chauncey's pulling out the big stops now. Look at this. Look. I got a file on you with a random picture of a dude. Look at that. Yeah, I'm courting you. You're like a cornered Cornish hen and you're getting ready to go into my oven. Now I have witness statements here with pictures attached. Look at these. Yeah. Now what? Yeah, you don't have anything to say about that, do you? That's what I thought. We're almost there, Chauncey. We are almost there. Let's do... Oh, uh, well, shit. I can't. Uh, crime pictures. All right, let's see. Let's see if maybe this jolts my memory of what the crime is. I probably should have watched the damn episode before this. Yeah, so it looks like uh, the same shit I just showed you. Yes! The suspect appears to be guilty. Oh, we got her, Chauncey. That was good. Let's get the confession. All right, woman. I've got you backed in the corner. Bernice ain't here to help you, ass. You need to just confess to your crimes and do the time. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead now and I guess place her in a cell. I don't know. Here, get in here. You're gonna go in this cell now. I'm gonna put you by yourself. You're lucky. You're lucky, woman. What do we do? No, no, never mind. We're gonna go back to this one. Yeah, we're gonna put you back in the one you just came from. Get your ass in there. Woo! We solved the crime of whatever it was. Chauncey is so good that he solves crimes that he doesn't even know what the hell he's uh, investigating. All right, so Chauncey has a talk to the chief aspiration for the day, so let's do a cheerful introduction, and the chief of police is Watson Briggs. That sounds like a great name for the chief of police. All right, Chauncey has now entered the office of Watson Briggs, chief of police, and he's going to have a conversation with him about, I don't know, He's he wants a raise. I don't know what he wants. I don't know what we're talking about. There's no bubbles. We'll see what we can do here. Talk to chief, rave, gossip, enthuse about solving a case. Let's do that, and then let's actually talk to the chief all right i don't care about peter damn it he's not in this story yeah give me that pat on the back for solving yeah chief i solved that crime i got that woman behind the bars don't ask me which crime but i got her del mango if you so much as play one game of blick block i'll throw you in one of those cells oh shit this turned sour quick the chief i don't i don't even like blick block it hurts my eyes oh shit quit playing blick block what the hell chante all right so next on our list is take a uh Police report from a civilian. So we have a civilian standing here. Okay, yeah, he's, he's, never mind. Shit. You know what, Chauncey, you did a good job today, even though you kind of ate at first and took a piss on the clock, but it's okay. We all have human needs that we have to fulfill. Chauncey is going to head upstairs and relieve a little bit of stress and do some boxing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Punch the shit out of that box. Come on, Chauncey. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretend it's Bernice. Bernice, they ain't doing shit. Sitting, flirting with everybody while well, you got. Kate's file sit on her desk and you had to do all the work. Just puts the shit out of her. Yeah, yeah, that probably wouldn't have done much, but that's it's okay. You're learning, you're learning. All right, so Chauncey has returned from a good day at work. He's getting a little sleepy, which is not good at 5 o'clock at night. So he is going to take a quick drink of coffee and then find out where the hell his animals are and what the hell they've done since he's been gone. Oh, that's right, Chauncey. You enjoy that nice strong brew let's see if it's working on the the energy here sitting and looking at the wall while holding it does not help you have to drink it all right so chauncey is going to praise gilbert i don't know why why are we praising him what the hell did he do so apparently our pets have just chilled in our room all day which is good i figured that the whole fucking house would be on fire oh shit i see so what's wrong with them i need some food hell yeah fill bowl oh there you go let's pet loki oh yeah you're nice and soft the hell's this what is this i don't care about peter what the i don't know bear shit oh penny pizzazz is giving us a ring i'm sorry penny not tonight i gotta take care of my pets jesus christ everyone wants to go eat with chauncey hold on oh my god why, why is there so many people calling me shit what the hell happened 
All right, so Chauncey is taking Loki and Gilbert to the park, and uh, God damn it, we gotta find out what's wrong with Loki. His little ass hopping around. Gilbert said, "Fuck this, I'm out of here." He just ran off into the damn park. Oh shit. Oh Chauncey, look at that. You're getting some views here. Oh wait, oh, we've already talked to her. Okay, cool. Loki needs to go potty. All right, cool. Yeah, we're talking to her now. I got shit. Fuck, I can't keep up with all this. All right, so Chauncey apparently is talking to Kaylee. It's not going good. Now he's trying to get Loki to take a shit right here on the gravel, apparently. Oh, there you go, Loki. Yep, yep, right there. Right there. All right. So, Ch this is a, this is, oh my god. All right, so Chauncey has fed Gilbert. He found a bowl and just put food in it. So let's, I don't know, uh, give a treat. Let's give a treat here to Loki so he shuts up. Now Chauncey has, this is too much. I can't keep up with these two fucking pets and Chauncey. All right, so we are back at home and this was not a very good trip to the dog park as Chauncey is fucking drained. So he is going to, he's taking a shower now, but I, I would have him eat, but it's already one o'clock. My time management this episode is fucking terrible. And uh, Chauncey's just gonna go ahead and head to bed hungry. And we'll just wake up a little bit extra early next episode to, uh, eat before we go to work, unlike we did today. Or maybe we'll eat at work. Who the hell knows? That seemed to work out just fine. So, anyway, we will see you next time from Chauncey, Loki, and Gilbert on The Sims 4. Cats and raccoons. Dogs. Cats. Shit. <laughs>